UCF defeats Sanford in overtime, 80-77, to the final score. Hannah Russo standing by with one of the stars for the night. Taylor, what challenges did Sanford's defense present you? Uh, I mean, they have a really strong four-man, 6'6", uh, six, six, but he's very strong, and uh, he kind of gave me problems. What adjustments did Coach make at the half? How important are they? Uh, pretty much told us to play our brand of basketball. Like, there wasn't really major adjustments that we uh, needed to make, but, you know, just uh, we uh, switched to a smaller lineup uh, down the line because they were slipping the screens and stuff like that, so we could blew everything. Like, switch it. How is your game going this year? Uh, I feel like it's going all right. You know, a lot to improve on, but, you know, I'm just going to keep trusting my coaches to listen to what they have to say and uh, just keep trying to get better. Thank you and congratulations. Well, Taylor Hendricks yet again delivers a terrific performance. Two off his career high at 21 points, four of five from three-point range. Was really outstanding. He only missed one shot in this game, six or seven from the field. We talked about how he was. he's currently top five in the American Conference in scoring efficiency in the half court. He just understands how to score, when to score, and what move to actually use to get a clean shot off. He was stellar this afternoon, but I think he made a couple plays defensively that didn't even show up in the box score that were veteran plays. His talent is just off the charts. It was an incredibly close game. There were 16 ties, 11 lead changes. Neither team led by more than six throughout 45 minutes of action. 63 total free throws were shot in this game. This game was called tight. There were a lot of fouls. There was plenty of time to talk at the free throw line. But ultimately, it was UCF getting defensive stops and Taylor Hendricks making big plays on the offensive end. Knights improved to 6-2. and two. Next up for UCF, a date with Tarleton State next Sunday afternoon here at Edition Financial Arena.